In today's world, control over semiconductors is as critical as controlling oil during the Cold War. These tiny chips power everything from smartphones to missiles, and the race to dominate semiconductor production has become a central battleground in a modern Cold War between the US and China. As the battle for semiconductor dominance continues, one thing is clear. Whoever controls the chips controls the future. The semiconductor race began during the original Cold War, as the US and the Soviet Union competed to dominate in technology. The US quickly became the leader, with Silicon Valley turning into the heart of innovation. But today, the geopolitical political landscape has changed, with the China emerging as a key player. The new semiconductor race kicked into high gear in the last decade. China launched its Made in China 2025 plan, aiming to reduce its dependency on foreign technology by producing 70% of its own semiconductors by 2025. The US, recognizing the strategic importance of chip manufacturing, has moved to protect its tech dominance, leading to escalating tensions. The US quickly acted to protect its tech edge. In 2020, the US introduced strict export controls, effectively cutting off China's access to key American technologies like advanced chips and chip making tools. Companies like Huawei were hit hard and China's ambitions were thrown off balance. In response, China has been investing heavily in its own semiconductor production capabilities. The Chinese government has poured billions into domestic manufacturers like SMIC to develop homegrown technology, aiming to break its dependency on foreign suppliers like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. At the center of this conflict is Taiwan, home to TSMC, the world's largest and most advanced chip maker. Taiwan produces nearly 60% of the world's semiconductors. Both the US and China depend heavily on TSMC, making Taiwan's semiconductor industry a potential flashpoint in geopolitical tensions. The fragility of the global semiconductor supply chain became clear during the COVID-19 pandemic when a chip shortage crippled industries worldwide. The shortage affected everything from car manufacturing to electronics, showing just how crucial these tiny chips are to the global economy. To counter China's advancements and secure its own chip supply, the US introduced the CHIPS Act, allocating over $50 billion to boost domestic semiconductor production. This act aims to reduce the US reliance on foreign suppliers, especially in critical areas like defense and AI. The semiconductor cold war is far from over, with the US pushing to keep its technological edge and China racing to catch up. This struggle for control of the world's most critical technology will shape global politics for years to come. As the battle for semiconductor dominance continues, one thing is clear. Whoever controls the chips controls the future. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.